What's up guys, Mike here from Things We Play, and today we're taking a look at my collection of rather strange things. Look, there's like a foot from a cartoon character, and over here, some nog nogs, and over there, some bloodle schnips. I've collected those over the years, I keep them up here in my attic, and uh, I come to look at them every now and then. Incidentally, just as a bit of trivia, all those names I made up. Anyway, I'm on a farm, and uh, I'm surrounded by corn. This is maize, in case you weren't already aware. It kind of looks a little bit like Hello Neighbor, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, this is a survival horror game, I guess, about sentient corn, which is uh, kind of frightening. So far, nothing's happened, really. I've not even seen a bit of corn. It's even looked at me a little bit dodgy, let alone been sentient. Um, but I'm aware that they are in the game, so... Um, yeah, we're just doing a little bit of puzzling at the moment. I've got a CD. It says Top Secret on it. I've also got a gloved severed hand, as you do. Um, a key fob. I've actually bashed into shape, interestingly. Uh, and an English muffin that's rock hard. Um, that was the attic. Yeah, you'll be pleased to know. And um, I had to push over a wardrobe to get in there. Uh, this is the rest of the house. There's a bathroom. Just give you a quick tour. Bedroom. It's a bit fucked up. But, you know, it's alright. Another bedroom, whatever. Downstairs, um, you know, all that jazz. Let's go out here because I think I know where I've got to put this key fob. So, um, we're going to go for a wander through the maze, as it were. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that's where we want to go. So, sentient corn. This is just normal corn. Nothing to fucking worry about. But it is a bit spooky in that it always looks like it's moving. And if there was something freaky in this corn, well, that would be pretty scary, I guess. But, um, absolutely fuck all's happened. Just literally done sort of point-and-click adventure style puzzles so far. Um, which was fun, don't get me wrong. But it's taken a little while, and like I say, nothing has happened. So, um, oh yeah, here we go. This is what I was looking for, I presume. This is going to do something when I put the key fob in here. There we go. Oh, actually, and the CD, and the gloved hand. Go on, put it in. You going to put it in? Why not? Muffin? Hand. Put the fucking hand in there! Why not? A severed hand, perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy, if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. Shit. I've got to get the glove off this hand. And then... Well, then I don't know what. So how would you get a glove off of a hand? Stuff kind of glows if I can interact with it. And I, I don't seem to be able to. Um, but I'm running out of options, really. I, I, I can't think of anything I've seen. Oh, hello. One half of a diagram. Interesting. That's that's what it is. Alright. There's a glove. Oh, no, I don't see that again. But how... How do you get a glove off? There's lots of body parts up here. I think it's just a... Just a scarecrow. Body building. Body build, to get it? There's body parts in his body building. I mean, you can't body build without body parts. I'm just saying. Keep it in space, in case you're wondering why I'm doing that. It's not so I can see that piece of uh, diagram over and over again. It's because I want to jump. You know, I've got an indescribable urge to just jump. To leap into the air. To frolic like I'm the happiest man alive. Um, but the game prohibits it. And I... Uh, I don't much like that, i got to say. There's got to be something, anything, that I haven't clicked on, that I should have done by now. They'll take this glove, they'll whip this glove straight off this hand. And uh, then we'll rush back, use the old terminal thing. Maybe it'll open a door. I think it's going to open a door. And I would guess we're either going to go inside, or something's going to come out. Like, I don't know, some sentient corn. It's the living room. Uh, there's actually a nest there, I didn't realise that. It's actually a, a Batari, but let's just call it a nest with a Atari controller. Um, that's pretty cool. 
Got the CD out of there. Nothing here, though, that's going to rip a glove off. Oh, there was no power to this place when I first came in. I did that. You missed it. But you should be... But you should be proud of me. Um... Nothing in here either. I feel like I've exhausted all things. The only thing I haven't done stuff with. Hang on. I've just figured out I've had a brainwave. And just to prove it to you, I'm going to let you know. Right, there's a thing I can interact with here. No, I can't. I've already done it. That's fine. There's one more thing I can interact with. It's in here. It's a sink full of oil. Look at that. I reckon I can slip the old hand out. Fucking A. He's done it. I'm thinking like a pro. You wouldn't have figured that out. Admit it. Anyway, let's grab the hand and go back. What a real hand. That's nice. Uh, yeah, so that gives you an idea of the sort of things I've been doing. I've been picking stuff up, taking it places, clicking on something that's sometimes a little bit random. It's a little bit of a Monkey Island sort of rubber chicken and a pulley sort of vibe to some of the things. Um, but, you know, that does stuff. It gives you a hand, doesn't it? Right, here we go. Holy shit, cutscene. Okay. Promising. Hello? Is it someone there? Hey! Oh, hey! Yeah. Hey! Yes! Oh! Fuck! Me! You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> okay. A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring! Oh, God. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he oh, president right, every time? No, I've actually I did been a vote for him. Uh, guys, yes. can we just <laughs> skip to the riddle? An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Oh, you're fucking having a laugh. Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? Your Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. <sighs> okay, guys. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Um. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a what? bit odd. What? Where am I going? Bob. I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We were bought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Alright. Oh, that's a button. Okay, I, I, I pressed a button. What's that? Oh. I ate a stale pellet. Can I can I have another one? I'd like another Oh, thanks. Oh right, that is delicious. Uh, is there uh, can are these free? I guess so. Please? Thanks. Oh oh good. That that is how all elevators should work, personally, I think. I mean, I got a hearty meal out of it. And now we're going down. Right. Um. Bob P. McTavish, Honorary Lobby. Alright, okay. I'm guessing this is Bob. Nice. What you got on you, Bob? My god, Bob. What is this? Do you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Oh yeah, Ted, don't worry. I've got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility. Especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified, don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat. Classified. Put it away, idiot. Should we guess that that's Ted? Oh, well, let's not guess, because, uh, that's Ted. He's, uh, he's the founder. And over here we've got Bob. Okay, deep in the facility now. Oh, what the fuck is that? Excuse me, excuse me. Not sure what you are. Or, or where you've gone, but would love answers. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. 
Bob, you idiot. You got a good deal on them because they're completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Cordially, Ted. Oh. I'll take one anyway. Coat rack. Needed one of those. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Looks like these corn experiments haven't gone all that well. Um, seems as though they were making militarized corn. This is the robotics room. Oh, it's like a Commodore 64. It's not, though. It is a, uh... I don't know what it is, but it's like a Commodore 64. Communal Grotto. Bob. Mate. What is going on? Hello, guys. I'm gonna try and come up and see you. This place is a Let fuck. Let's pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm. Well, yes. Funny you should ask that, guys. Guys. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing guys. a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? All right. Naturally. Okay, I so the corn it. It does is just kind sound. of a way for them to shoehorn. Okay, I've got a fucking extra sketch. It doesn't matter. Fuck the corn. But it's not scary. It's a golden. It's Donald Trump's toilet. Which, uh, I believe we call the United States of America at present. Sorry, guys. So it's kind of creepy. Something's gone on. There's been an experiment. The corn is alive, but really, there doesn't seem to be any major issues. Bob and Ted have both disappeared. Fucked off somewhere. Bastards. Um, but Jesus Christ, look at this place. The artwork in this game is really nice. Bob, you disgusting slob, until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Right. Military backpack. We needed that. Screwdriver. That'll probably come in handy. Anything else? In here. Ah. Oh. Alright. I haven't been in, uh... In one of these since Dead Space 2. Can't have changed much. Teddy Ruxpin. Where you been all my life, buddy? We need to chuck you out on the table. I think we're going to do stuff to you, Teddy. Maybe we're going to make you come alive. I'm going to take that block as well. Hmm. Interesting. Gymnasium? Not really one for keeping fit, but if I was, I'd probably do it in a video game. That seems to make sense. Um... I might ask about memberships a little bit later on. Sweaty headband's more my thing. I mean, I'll wear a headband. Like I say, I might not go to the, uh... Should I? Probably shouldn't have bent down to pick that up. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go to the, to the gym, but damn it, I'll wear a sweaty headband. If you give me one. So, we can put down here... The teddy bear. And then, oh, okay, we're building something. We're going to put the military backpack down on him. We're going to put the robot arm down on him. What is that? I don't feel like I have whatever that is. And I can't quite tell what it is. From that. Could be fucking anything, couldn't it? But I think we're going to bring this teddy to life, so it's worth persevering. Um, keep a lookout. And and let me know, guys, if you see anything that I need, you know? Let me know, just call out. Call out from wherever you are, and I'll, I'll pick it up. I'll pick up the vibes. You know, it'll, it'll move me in the right direction. This is where, you know, most stuff is. If someone went to me, do you know where I can find blah, blah, blah? I'd be like, yeah probably in the room with all the stuff in it. You know? 
There's a lot of fucking shit in this place. Check the gymnasium. Then the entrance. Oh, hello. An extremely obvious fake panel. Fucking A. Hi, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. Bob. Alright. We got RAM. Is that what we needed, do you think? Should I have a look in here anyway, just to be one... Just to be sure. One last final time. Definitely nothing in here. You know? I'm doing this for you, really. I can hear you. Calling out. Don't go back, Mike. You know there's something more in here. Well, I'm just going to prove it to you guys. There's nothing in here. You know? Fuck. Fuck. Maybe I'll put the RAM in the computer? Yes! The old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. Alright, now I've got an upgraded computer. Do I put that in there? Yes! Holy shit! Hey, buddy. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. Oh, God. Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> okay. Why, guys, so many. What is this on Vladdy's back? I, I kind of built it. This makes no sense. By accident. All of this is very stupid. I just call it a gift. <sighs> so, where we go? It's a very good question. You've acquired Vladdy, prepared to be insulted forever. Great. Right, come on then, you little prick. Oh. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What That's is, Vladdy. What is Plant saying? Is that a... It is. It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! <laughs> my lucid drug. What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraption! What if you're just gonna be like that? Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Bloody does not like it here. Don't worry, man. Me neither. Yeah. Oh. Bloody stay here while you do your stupid things. Idiot. All right. Just following a red line because there's a red line there. Oh, but now do I follow the yellow line because there's a yellow line there? Or do I stick with my original choice of the red line? Okay, this is promising. Oh. Excuse me. Madam. Madam. Who has disturbed me? It's me, Mike. Let me in. We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. Sorry. As our servant informed you of your task. Not really. No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Mm-hmm. I know that feeling. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that. By stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Right. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. No, no, of course not. Can I, can I come down? Perhaps you are different from the rest. Well, y you know... Do we let ourselves hope? No, don't. Just like, keep your expectations oh, low. Champion. Low. No, likely not. That's better. 
But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. Great stuff. So, let me in. we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. Right, got you. And raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. Consideration for what? N night. She seemed alright. She seemed nice. Uh, I'm not sure who she was, but maybe you have some importance. Oh. Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting! How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated! Oh. This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm. Must be dealt with. Ladies and gentlemen, our antagonist. I'm guessing. <laughs> Big fella. Alright, no, I didn't say anything. Dick. He's probably. Yeah, he is talking about me. I just need to get out, really. Back into the real world. I don't like being in here. I'm, I'm a little bit claustrophobic. But only when I'm in really small spaces, you know? It should be me! It should be me! Surrounded by idiots! Rattle! Underappreciated! Ridiculed! Scorned! Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. <clears throat> X is. Ugh! Ridiculous! This guy again. Hmm, much better. Some of my best work. Was it saying something? Anyone think oh this guy God. is... Oh, yes! Ted. Dealing with unwanted guests. Could be Bob. <laughs> but I think it might be Ted. Anyway, that's all we're going to have time for today. We're going to have to move along with our lives. But we'll come back to this, guys. We'll come back to Maze. I like the look of it. Seems interesting. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button on your way out. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more stuff. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you next time.